Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. And I'm so excited to bring you today the Spike Prime Color Sorter Carousel. If you guys remember, I did one, I think it was three or four years ago. I, I did a Lego EV3 Color Sorter Carousel. And I told you a couple of weeks ago, I would try to bring it to you because I showed you the color sorter vehicle or car. And I said, I'm gonna use the brick chute, you know, the ones where you line up the bricks. And I said, I'm going to try to make another carousel, but with the spike prime. So today I have it for you. I'm going to show you how I took the chute from the vehicle, attached it to the carousel. The program was definitely challenging. I had forgotten how I did the EV3 and, and especially the EV3 programming and the spike prime uh, programming are two different entities in itself. So I had to kind of readjust my thinking and then I'm going to show you how everything come, came together. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is the chute, the hub, the motor. So I'll send you in the description the building instructions for this part, but you're going to have to not go as far because this was supposed to have been the car or the vehicle. So I basically did not use the motor for the wheels because this is not going anywhere. This is going to just stay in one place. There was also a part down here that the pieces, the two by fours went down a separate part. I took that off because I just wanted the pieces to come off right here. And then I'm going to add this piece right in there. And this is where the carousel is going to be. And I'll show you how to build that in a second. But this is how it's going to look. And let's go ahead now and get the carousel built. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Spike Prime software. Let's dive in and dissect this program. So the first block you see is going to be the A block, which is going to the motor that's going to rotate the carousel. It's going to be at 4% speed. The second block, the F motor block, is going to be the one that does the rack and pinion uh, that basically pushes out the piece and retracts back in. Now we're going to do a forever block. And then within that forever block is just going to be four if, then, or else blocks. And you can see as inside of them, all the blocks are going to be the same, but the amount of degrees that it rotates is going to be different. And let me go ahead and show you how they're different. The very first block that you see, the, the A block, that's going to be how many degrees does it need to rotate to get to the sorter. Um, so the very first A1, after the carousel resets, how many degrees does the carousel need to rotate to get to the sorter? The two F blocks in the middle is basically the rack and pinion uh, motor coming out at 1.3 seconds and then going back at, in at 1.4 just to make sure it goes in all the way. And then the very last block is how many degrees does the carousel need to rotate to get back to the original position, the 12, three, six, and nine, like a clock position. And then that's it. It just continues after that. So 
again, the toughest part were those A blocks is to figure out how many degrees does it need to rotate to get to the sorter. And then the last A block is how many degrees does a carousel need to rotate to get back to the reset position. So when you watch the program um, with the carousel, you're going to notice that the carousel rotates to reset and then it will rotate back to the sorter.